back to WKRG News 5 at noon. What a big day for folks in South Baldwin County and really around the region with the grand opening of the new Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo in Gulf Shores. News 5's Debbie Williams is live at the zoo. In fact, she's there at the Baboon Exhibit. And uh, Debbie, gosh, we've watched this and you've been there for most of the journey. It's taken 15 mm -hmm. years to complete this. It's hard to believe that it's been 15 years in some respects and not so much in others. You know, it's been known as the little zoo that could. Now it's known as the little zoo that grew. And take a look at what it's grown into. 25 acres donated to the zoo uh, back in 2006. It's been transformed into something that doesn't happen very often. A new zoo built from the ground up. All the animals making the trip from the old location in the last couple of weeks and getting used to their new habitats. It was back in 2004 when the push really started to move the zoo after three hurricanes and three evacuations of all the animals. Back then, zoo director Patty Hall spearheaded those evacuations and was really instrumental in pushing to have the zoo move to higher ground. All of that making this day possible. I've got such a rush of memories from 23 years ago, what we went through all those years, and now to see, I mean, this place is spectacular. It's hard to believe that it's located on the Gulf Shores, you know, at, in on the Gulf Coast. And lots of people enjoying it on this first day of grand opening. Patty uh, retired a couple of years ago because of health issues. She is now director emeritus. So you will see that familiar red hair walking around this zoo from time to time. So be sure and say hello. We're going to have much more on the new zoo, zoo opening today, later on air and online. But for now, live on the Baldwin County Beating Gulf Shores at the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo, Debbie Williams, News 5.